Hi, Vicki Lynn here again. Wow, these energies have been very, 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 very strong. Every day I feel the energy more powerful. And all you have to do is just ground into Mother Gaia, into Mother Earth. Put your feet on Mother Earth and just feel the energy around you. Because you can literally feel it. And it is getting more powerful every day, every day. So every time I go into a video, most of the time I don't know what I'm going to say until the video. Today I had all this stuff I was going to tell you, and now that it's here, I'm cleared. I don't know of anything that I'm going to tell you. So we'll just play it out and see how it goes. Um, that's how we do. Um, none of us are ever controlling anything, really. Um, and if we think we are, life's going to show us different. So we just got to enjoy the moment, and I just always call in the highest and best. So, so whatever shows up that day, that's what it's supposed to be. Right now I have bungee stones in my hands. I feel that I be, need to be very grounded today. Today I feel that the energies are very high up in this area, and I need to be more grounded to Mother Gaia. And these are bungee stones, and this is a... Uh, this one's a female and this one's a male because it's got more ridges. You can see the ridges on it. And they're very uh, big and this one's more smooth. That's how you can tell it's a female. And you carry them in opposite hands. So this is your female side. Wait, I got them on the wrong hand. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well, it's, it's all good. So this is your female side. So you should have your male on your female side and your female and your male side that creates balance wow and that actually even feels better too but you know what it's all meant to be I need to balance the strength in both so anyway and I got my feet on Aventine and Aventine looks like this it's green it's very beautiful if you can look it's a green Aventine I always put my feet on it and it helps me to ground um, because I'm very very uh, energetic I'm very grounded um, the shaman in me and the shaman in all is literally coming to surface and um, so wow wow when I went up to Mount Shasta lots of changes um, a lot of stuff with family and not just in my family and a lot of my clients families I'm noticing that family shifting in and shifting out even in that that's all right because we all need to expand so we're all doing growth that's what we're doing so we're all growing together so Anyway, um, I got my two stones, but I'm going to pull cards, and once again, we're going to use the Messenger Oracle. We're going to pull three cards this time, I feel, and I'm just being guided on this whole message, so whatever my guides have to say or whatever needs to come through, that's what will come through. So this is for, this message is for all of us, all of us, all of us light workers, all of us, everything. We literally are everything, every one of us. None of us are, there's no difference, no shaman or anybody's different than anybody else. And um, a lot of that was healing um, because I am that a shaman, but I am more than that. We are all more than that. We are all everything. So a message for that. And so let's see what it plays out and what it comes forth. Now, um, I've been noticing that uh, I've been getting downloads and if you just feel into the energy you can feel it goes through the top of your head all the way to the bottom of your feet and it kind of even feels like you're having an anxiety attack but if you breathe into the energy it's not that so it's just downloading and you're literally just downloading for the universe so these cards are for whatever message the universe has to tell us now so we're pulling one two Wow, they're very sticky. They really have a message for us. So, whatever. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow. I am just blown away because the first card that we got is Let Two Become One. That is so true. I feel my twin flame right there. I feel all twin flames right there. I feel that all of us twin flames that are to come together are coming together. And so that's so amazing how this is the number one card that pulls up. Um, and it's let two become one. That's self-explanatory. And you can see it's a male and female. And it's so funny because when I was driving to work this morning, um, in front of me, the car license plate said, um, 
Mrs. and Miss. And then the car next to me, it says her. And then right behind another car that pulled up behind her, his said him. Wow. The universe is showing me my twin flames coming into my life. So I'm allowing it. However that's to be, it's to be. All twin flames are coming together. We're all coming together. And believe me, let me tell you, we have to accept us because because you need to be happy within yourself. You need to love you. You need to, it's all right to feel lonely. It's all right to feel all of that. But you know what? Good things are coming our way. And in that, when we're with our twin flames, we still will have moments of that. The thing is, love yourself. Love yourself. So if any of that stuff comes up, just love that part of you. Literally, love that part of you. So let two become one. Absolutely. First card. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And this just isn't for me. This is for the entire world. So let's see how this plays out. Need and necessity. Our needs and our necessity. Wow. Look at that beautiful card. Wow. Needs and necessity. Look at light and dark. And that is so true. The yin and the yang. That is so true. I want to see what this card says. It's number 28. 28. Needs and, needs and necessities. Night and day exist within the very same moment. Creation and destination wear the same face. Wow, I feel this card out my heart. You only see one or the other because you are not seeing the whole. You may, you may see a harmful, harmful, other may see it as good. All is based upon perception. In nature, all occurs according to necessity, not right and wrong. Ask yourself, is there genuine? Is there a genuine act here in change necess necessary for your continuing well-being and happiness? If the answer is yes, then act. If the answer is no, then do not. That is so true. That is so true. It is just day and night. And so ask. And, and I've got stuff coming up that I've been asking. I've been asking, you know, what should I do? And some of my answers have been very clear and some of them haven't. So I'm just hesitating. But you know what? I'm just allowing for whatever that is to be. Whatever that message is to be, it'll be brought forth for me and the world. So all you guys, the stuff that you guys need to bring on, that you need to bring forth, um, just ask and feel it in your body. And if it feels good, it's meant to go. And if it doesn't feel good, then it's not this time right now. And that's the thing is, and maybe it's just not this time right now. So our third card, what's going to happen next? Wow. Be, vil be vigilant. Be vigilant. Wow. That's all heart space. If you look, the tree of heart, that is just all heart space. I feel so connected. Look at it in my phone. It's just going off. Okay, so that card is number three. Let's read what it has to say. The Vigilant. Be watchful and curious of others' actions and your own. Stand ready to protect yourself from those who covet what you seek. Wait, what you have to seek to harm those you care for. But be vigilant and watchful over your own actions, lest you actions lest you be the the one doing harm wait your actions be sure you act wisely be sure you have done all that all needs to be done before moving forward lead nothing to chance lest all you have natured and cherished and be undone by your own lack of vigilance wow that's so true that's so true i Everybody's been everybody's been dealing with their work, and that's what this has to do with. Everybody's dealing with all their work, all this stuff that's coming up. And you know what? Um, all this, even if you feel bad about something that you're doing, it's all right. Because look at it from a different direction. And this, too, has come up in my life because I made some, uh, which I thought were harsh judgments. But you know what? They weren't. They were reality, and I needed to let that go, even though I had a lot of guilt and all that. I had to let it go and I need to be vigilant to myself and to love myself and this is all growth that's the one thing we got to remember this is all growth so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for all these cards also too I'm gonna pull a spiritual animal uh, wow 
spiritual animal to see what you have to show us today. Wow. The humpback whale. Wow, the humpback whale. Take this next year to explore and use your sound and vocalization for healing. Both playing a music and listening to music it is absolute necessary for you right now. I can feel them coming and they, I, what I see and what I say is two different things. So it's very hard for me to read when I'm doing this. There's someone in your life, a significant ally, who nudges you and encourages you to reach higher. This expression, uh, this expressions your creativity in your fashion, and most suitable for you. Take some voice lessons in your, and as to not only help you with your singing, but also with your self confidence. Allow yourself to surface more and reveal yourself as other to others. Don't let fear get in the way of doing what's best. That is so true. That is so true. We need to vocalize on our sounds, what we say, because what you say is your is your reality. Whatever you say is your reality. And I've been working on my on my tones and my voice so that's so funny that this came through too but if it's happening for me it's happening for all of you so we need to work on what we say what we say about ourselves what we say about others we need to focus on that and you know what it's all coming together look at it's all coming to bed Just be vigilant about yourself love yourself even if it's a little bit painful and it feels wrong feel it in your heart if it's right it's right be needy be needy and necessary wow black and dark black and white you know what it is black and white. Feel it in your body. If you don't feel good, don't go there. And two is one. Twin flames, we're all coming together. I feel it, feel it, feel it. It is all coming together. Okay, so I feel light language coming from me. Wow, I feel it completely. So I love, send love to you and the whole entire world. And here we go. Breathe, breathe. Ground in the Mother Gaia. Policy Salamo kita shamo ni na china mo kita mo salapo kina china ni na tana mina mo le kina tana mo ni mina a solo mi cha solo mi cha a kalo che na mo chi da bole tina mo ni na ne kina cha so like in a tuna mole tina mole ki a la mo tida zina mole tina mole tina a ni de mole kina kina a a so la mina tina tina ole tina mole kina a ni a sa la mo i sa lo mo le si a la mo le ki na po le chi a si wow now what with the light language is that I just get visualization and stuff of what they're giving and receiving, what I'm receiving. And I received a lot of laughter, a lot of joy, a lot of healing, a lot of protection, and whatever else you guys just need. Your your experience. You guys know what you felt. Hey, sending love and light to all. I bless, bless all of you and the world.